Hello everybody, it's Calpurnia and today is day two of my week-long video blogging project. Um, I waited until 6 o'clock tonight to start this vlog because I wanted more to have happened to tell you about. Um, today, mostly I just um, clean the house, which isn't that interesting, I know. And um, I did a lot of work on our various websites and um, I did some work on a script for a little little sort of web comedy thing that I want to do. Um, what I did last night was, let's see, um, I, I rented this movie, Antibodies, which is a German language serial killer movie. Why? I know. Well, I love scary movies and I love foreign movies. And I had never seen a German serial killer movie. So I thought I would check it out. And um, the New York Times said it was good. And ain'titcoolnews.com said it was good. And, and that's a good site. So I checked it out. Um, my final verdict for, for antibodies is, um, you know, eh, don't rent it on my account. Rent it if... If there's something about it that you're really into, feel free, but, um, you know, what ifs. Um, what else I am doing right now is I'm reading a book called, uh, The Year of Living Biblically, and it's by A.J. Jacobs, and, um, it's about a man who decides to, for one year, live by every rule in the Bible. Uh, that's possible. Um, since the Bible is full of contradictory rules and rules some of which are impossible, um, it's quite a challenge for him and it's quite a challenge for his wife to put up with. Um, I really like this book and I've wanted to read it for a long time because it just points out how silly and ridiculous it is to try to live by the whole and complete Bible, every single rule in it. And it also illustrates even more than that what hypocrites almost everybody is who is a Christian, who criticizes people like transsexual women, for example. Because um, I have never in my life met anybody who is worthy of the kingdom of God, so to speak. You know, I've never met anybody who's really living by the Bible, both the inconvenient and the convenient parts. Um, and in this book, A Year of Living Biblically, somebody actually does. And so, Mr. A.J. Jacobs, for that one year, you're probably the only Christian in the world that I can really respect as having actually followed the Bible. Not just the convenient parts, not just the parts that tell you the stuff that you like is cool, but every single part. And there are some crazy, wacky, zany rules in the Bible that everybody just seems to ignore because oh my god they're so inconvenient so surely Jesus didn't mean that but um yes he did you should check it out you're probably living in sin right now you filthy hypocrite but um if you want to see how to do it right read a year of living biblically and the bible so what else is going on? Um, we're still editing our short film. We're going to be doing more of that this week. And um, the weather's been really nice in L.A. I have not left the house all day, though. I have not stepped outside the front door. Just cleaning and doing dishes and doing web stuff and working on a script um, and answering email. Womp womp. So um, this is day two of my video blog. I hope uh, you found something interesting in this mess. And um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.